Hey guys, David with the Wholesalers Toolbox, and today I want to talk about a new way to get a list of motivated sellers. Now, we all know the common ways. You can hop in your car and drive for dollars. You can go to list source and pull a list. You can get on prop stream and real flow and vacant house data feed and in all the different ways that we build a list. But there's a new player in town and and it's it's deal machine now for those of you who know deal machine it's a driving for dollars app but they're doing some crazy things over there and adding new features and functions to deal machine so deal machines an app for your phone for your iphone for your smartphone or they have the desktop interface and it's been a great driving for dollars app that i personally use but a couple new additions, one being their CRM or their client relations management system where you can just keep track of all your deals, your, your leads, what you've sent marketing to, what, you know, what properties you've talked to the owner on, you know, which ones you've made offers on. And everybody's always looking for a CRM and it's great free CRM. If you don't have a CRM, I encourage you to go to Deal Machine, sign up for free, get the CRM. But today we're talking about another function in Deal Machine and it's called List Engine. And List Engine is a new alternative for people that pull lists or like to buy data so they can send out postcards and, and market to motivated sellers. So how is list engine different from the others one is the price it's it starts at 29 bucks a month okay and for 29 dollars a month you can pull a list of a city or of a zip code or you know of geographical area you can pull one list a month so for somebody on a budget that's a great option 29 bucks versus 100 bucks for the other systems and even more for list source so 29 bucks and i can pull the city of houston or los angeles or you know a smaller town or a or a specific zip code or whatever so if you're in a you know metropolitan area and this month you buy a list for this city and this month you buy a list for this city and you know you just work on down you know the line 29 bucks is a great option right and and once you buy it it's in your system it's in your crm so you can send postcards to it you can skip trace to it right out of the system and do nothing else with it other than work the list so Another great advantage to List Engine and to the you know Deal Machine CRM is their list is called what they call a smart list. And so let's say I buy Houston, uh, Texas, I buy an absentee owner list. Every month or every couple of weeks when they update the data in the system, my list is going to update. So if I bought a list of vacant houses in Houston, and then a couple weeks from now, you know, 187 houses fall off that vacant list with the post office and 12 more are added, my list is going to update. So I don't have to go and buy a new list. I'm using the same list, right? So just every month it updates, every list that I bought updates and, and for 29 bucks, I don't have to go and rebuy it. So, okay, so you say, David, what if I want more than one list a month? Well, for 49 bucks a month, you can get two lists and you have all the same great features. Uh, 55 cent postcards, 17 uh, cent skip tracing. If you like to use another skip trace vendor, you can export your list, you know, on a, on a CSV form, you can, upload it to your skip tracing company and you can put it back into deal machine into the CRM. So that's easy to do. How many leads can you download? Well, that's unlimited. You can download as many as you want. So if I just want a list of every single residential house in Miami, Florida, I can run that list, but I can only run it once a month unless I have the $49 option, then I can run two lists a month. 
If you want to run more than that, they have an enterprise package. It's like fourteen hundred bucks a year, and it's unlimited. You can you know you can run lists all day long every day. So if you know if you got the money and you're you know you're running a big operation, you know you can go that route. But for people that are looking for a a budget friendly alternative to all the other systems. 29 bucks a month will get you a brand new list every month, a brand new smart list that, that will update. So what, what can you pull? Okay, you can pull every property, like I already mentioned. You can pull vacant properties. You can pull owners of multiple properties, uh, houses that are behind on taxes, pre-foreclosures and foreclosures, bank owned, and of course everybody's favorite absentee owners. You can pull all that in deal machines list engine okay um we talked about smart lists we talked about the pricing if you've already got a list or multiple lists that you've pulled from other sources you can upload them right up into deal machine into the crm so you can actively use your old list and the new list provided to you by a list engine all right so bottom line this is a great system for, for everybody that's on a budget or for people that are just looking for one place where they can put all their leads from all the systems that they've tried and everything and just work off of one common platform. So after this video, I'm going to add another video where I talk to Josh from Deal Machine and we walk through the list engine system so you can see it all work and, and know all the specifics about it. But in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to Deal Machine. You can try out the $29 list engine option for seven days for free, okay? The CRM's free to join up for, so go ahead and do that. And, and try it out. I think you're gonna see that this is a very budget-friendly way to buy uh, your motivated seller list, okay? So enjoy the video after this where we talk to Josh. Sign up in the link below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hey guys, David with the Wholesalers Toolbox. We're back again with Josh from Deal Machine because we want to take just a few minutes and talk about their new list engine that is um, a pretty amazing tool. And if you want to buy lists in a, in a market or a certain geographical area, it's a great addition to Deal Machine. And Josh is going to take a few minutes and, and tell us about it here. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, a lot of you guys might be really familiar with Deal Machine from our free CRM from our traditional driving for dollars tool that we've had for a few years now. One of the things that we just came out with is our list engine. And so it helps you build lists of leads that you guys can market to, skip trace and call, whatever you wanna to do to try to get a hold of these owners. It helps you build lists of leads based off of attributes that you know you're interested with it. And so we've got a free seven day trial of, of list engine. So feel free anytime to jump in and test out the waters and get a feel for what this looks like. Um, but what I'm going to do here is just show you what building a list might look like within Deal Machine and, and walk you through kind of just what your experience would be if you're using it. Um, so first things first, when you come to list engine, you're just going to click build a list. You can start this process by using a specific zip code, a whole city, or even drawing a specific area on a map. And so let's say I get to a specific geography and I'm like, hey, you know what? Like this whole area here, I'm interested in. Every property in this area I know is where I've got investors that wanna buy or I'm buying myself as a flipper or, or long-term buy and hold investor. So I draw, I can draw that exact geography wherever area I want. And then I can start choosing the specific data points about these properties or about these owners to start refining that list. Cause I know I, pr I probably don't want every property there. A lot of them probably just aren't good leads. There might be a, you know, an occupied property that bought it a year ago. That's not someone I, I wanna waste my time on. Um, but you have a few different ways that you can start to refine this list. So using our quick list feature, you can use things like, you can just grab every single property in that area. You could specifically target vacant properties, which we get from USPS, means a non-deliverable address for at least 90 plus days. Um, you can find owners of multiple properties basically saying, hey, what investors have properties in this area that someone who owns multiple properties has properties here? Could be a good way to identify someone who might be a cash buyer for you or something like that. 
Um, and again, don't want to get too deep in every, every little nitty gritty detail here, but you could look at tax liens, you can look at pre foreclosures, all these different attributes you're able to pull a really quick list on. In addition to that, you can, uh, you can save preset list filters that you have uh, in Deal Machine, and you can pull any of these presets here, or you can build a fully custom list based off of any property attributes that you want. So maybe you're saying, hey, I want to specifically pull out of state absentee owners here. Um, this is that's going to be a pretty refined list. So this would only pull nine leads. So maybe I'll just do absentee owner to try to your list. So and as we as you update this, we're going to pull at the bottom here for you. Hey, here's the number of leads that you're going to pull if you were to export this list right now. You can refine it even further based off the last sale price, the last sale date. You can include parameters of property, but for some reason that data is not available, which could happen for a variety of reasons for various properties. You can include unknown uh, criteria for that as well. Um, so let's say I want to pull this in this specific area of St. Louis. I want to pull every absentee owner with a property that was purchased at least five years ago now. And so I can scroll to the bottom. You can name the list whatever you want. This is always going to be a permanently filterable list in your deal machine account. Um, and then the other thing that you can do as you pull this list, you can make it a smart list. And so the really cool thing about a smart list versus pulling a static list from something like a list source is this smart list will constantly add to and take away pro properties that no longer fit the criteria that you're looking for. So maybe a house that you're marketing to gets sold to somebody else. It means it's probably not a property that you're interested in, in marketing to anymore. And so we can set it up to automatically pull a property off of that list and if we have it smart, we can also sync it to your marketing so that we can say, hey, as soon as it gets pulled off this list, I no longer want to market to it. And so we start saving you marketing dollars right away by making this a smart list. Um, alternatively, well, you, you save people money from buying new lists and updating lists. You know, if you're, if you're working certain cities or certain areas and you're buying a, a vacant list, you know, every, you know, month or every few months to, you know, make sure you're sending to the right people, this prevents you or, or makes it so you don't have to do that. And you're saving money by not, you know, buying a hundred dollar list or a few hundred dollar lists every couple months. Exactly. Exactly. So there's, there's no cost to refresh this list on a constant, constant basis. Uh, it just happens. And we're updating it dynamically as our data comes in uh, on these, these properties. It's hugely, hugely valuable um, to your processes so you know you're not constantly refreshing it just to make sure you have accurate lists. If I use the drawing function, and, and I'm saying, my, personally, I, I, my, vacant is my, my specialty, is what I go after, or my niche, I should, should say. But if I use the drawing feature for vacant properties, high equity, what size area can I do? Can I do a metropolitan area? Can I do a couple cities or, or how big can I go on that? Yeah, so really as long, as far as you want to zoom out, you're able to do. Um, there's, there's a little bit of a limitation on this because it is designed to be a little bit more targeted than like I'm gonna pull all of St. Louis because in reality, that's kind of what just pulling a city then for. Right, you, yeah, if you wanted to do the whole city, you could just do that. So, but you know, you can do a pretty good area with it. Exactly. But yeah, if you come here and just click this zoom out there as much as you can, this is a rough look at what that might look like. And so this is, I'm um, trying to give, like, we don't have a thing. This is probably roughly, I would say, from like this highway here up to the end here is probably about two miles. Okay. So roughly, I would say like somewhere between four and six square miles you could pull from if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Really, but any traditional neighborhood that you might say, hey, this whole geography is a neighborhood that I want to do, that's going to be really helpful. And so they might have, like, you don't want to pull the whole zip code. You want to just pull one, one neighborhood that you know you're hyper, hyper focused on. That's always going to be doable there. And this is also available on mobile. I think that's one really important thing I want everyone to always know. Everything we do is also mobile centric. And so you might be driving for dollars using our street engine out there in the field. And you might say, hey, you know what? Like, this whole area is good. I don't even necessarily drive every single property here. If I know like 80% of these houses are houses that I'm interested in. And so you could then, while you're out in the field, switch over the list engine, draw, draw that, uh, that uh, shape around it and just pull every list instantly and then move on to areas that are more niche focused for driving for dollars and then do more batch and bulk stuff based off of um, a neighborhood that you just happen to know is more qualified across the board. Yeah. I like that about Deal Machine. You're 
your desktop interface and your mobile app are, are so similar that it's there's like no learning curve to go from one to the other. You know, they're they're very always, very much the same. Always be a core tenant of what we focus on is being mobile friendly and, and really mobile first in how we develop. Um, and, and it's always going to be something very very, uh, very, very important to us. Um, jumping back to SmartList here, I mentioned kind of the, the negative, not negative side, but the taking properties away when they no longer become uh, a member of that SmartList. But on the opposite side, especially for something like maybe like a pre-foreclosure, you want to try to jump on those opportunities as soon as they come in. And so we can actually set up your system so as soon as a pre-foreclosure property becomes a member of a list, we can then instantly start marketing uh, to that property. We can, we can send a ballpoint pen letter the day that that property hits pre-foreclosure. We can let, let you know there's a new property here and begin mailing it without you having to take an action at all. And so it's a really powerful way for you to speed up those processes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit here. When I hit submit, we begin building the list officially. And so you'll see here, I'll hit refresh here in a moment. Um, typically, a 1500 property list to officially create is going to take 30 to 45 seconds here. So I'll hit refresh. Oh, what? How about a thousand properties? Let's see. We've got a cool badging system. So the first two <laughs> properties are already pulled and added to my system now. Um, as it, that happens, I want to show you something else really cool. We make it really easy for you to, um, for you to keep track of the statuses of the properties that you're adding. And so, um, one thing that's really, really cool that I just did. So I, I pulled this list. I, I synced it with my marketing. And so I'm about to send mail to all these properties, these 415 properties. As you can tell, the first status that any property goes through is a pending approval. That means it's waiting for you to decide what to do with it. If I hadn't said sync with my marketing, it would have just, they would have all gone into pending approval. Because I said sync with my marketing, I am sending mail to all these properties as they get added here instantaneously. So my steps and my processes are completely, completely done at this point. So let me hit refresh again here as we have, we get to the rest of this 1400 properties there. Let's take a look here. So we've got 12, 16. So, so what you're saying is unlike buying a list from list source and then having to take that list and have them email it to you and then going to your your mail house and sending it to your mail house this is all done instantly as soon as you pull them it can go directly into marketing and it automatically sends your postcards and you have to do nothing exactly so i'm sending i've got a new 1200 properties and soon to be new 1400 properties already being marketed to i don't have to do anything else with them you make you make it too easy too easy, guys. <laughs> and if you ever want to view the specific list of leads that, you're, that came from that poll, you go to our leads view or you click view leads there. We can, we'll bring you directly to the leads and you can see each individual property that has been added. You can view the lead and start to look at some more of the unique information about it. You can see that it's in the sending queue. As it, over time, you'll see the number of mailers that are being sent, as mail is sent, as mail is delivered. You can come and record notes. All those different things are doable uh, and instantaneously with all of this ownership information available to you right away. That's great. Um, so our list engine, that's really the, the core thing I, I, I wanted to show you guys about how that list engine tool works. Again, this is a new feature for us. And so I wanna bring up just what the pricing model looks like for you guys. So if you guys did wanna test this out, as I did mention earlier, you've got a seven day free trial of any plan with your machine. And so you can give that a try. Um, here are the three options that you have to leverage our list engine tool. We've got our basic plan. It lets you build one new list type per month. So every single month you could say, hey, this month we're gonna start pre foreclosures. Next month, maybe we're gonna start tax delinquents. You can make it a smart list. Again, we'll still dynamically update it, um, but it gives you one full list per month that you can build. The really big pro of our model on pricing compared to most organizations, you could pull a you could pull a list that's 15,000 properties. It's not gonna cost you anything more than a more niche list of a couple hundred. And so really, really powerful, no limitations on the number of properties. So that's, so that's what I wanted to point out. So basic plan, $29 a month. Let's say, okay, I'm in the Detroit market and I wanna pull the city of Detroit, all the vacants, it's 29 bucks. 29, um, 29 bucks, I can get that list every month and I can do a smart list and it will update. Update weekly. 
when properties become unvacant, right? Somebody moves in and it'll drop off my list. Correct. Correct. See, that's a, you know. It'll drop off. And you can't beat that for 29 bucks. Totally yeah. agree. <laughs> Slightly biased, but totally agree. So the next plan up is our pro plan. It lets you build two lists, two new lists a month in the same fashion. So let's say you've got three foreclosure and vacant separately. Really easy way for you to go about doing that. And then the final plan, our enterprise level solution. Uh, all of our enterprise plans are built annually and not month to month, but it basically removes all of your limitations from your, your list building tool. You could build any number of lists that you want at any time, um, and you can start that process of using Real Machine really at scale to get all of these leads and all these opportunities that you want. So really, like if you're jumping into a new market, whether it's you're already having success in one, jumping into a new one, or just starting out, uh, as an investor, wholesaler, whatever it is you're focused on, um, lets you go all out and, and really leverage the entirety of our data to power your business and move as fast as possible. So for, for a cheap guy like me, and I look at enterprise and it's you know $1,490 a, a year, but that's only 124 bucks a month. Yeah, I know you can't do it monthly, but it equates to $124 a month and you get unlimited lists. On the middle, the volume of data that we're talking you can pull is going to cost you, if you were a good list source for these types of things, you're probably spending two, three, four times that just to build certain types of lists. And then right. they're not refreshed routinely either. Like you pulled it once, great, you want to go pull it again? It's going to cost you the same thing that you paid the first time right. to go get new data in a month. And ours is dynamically updated consistently uh, for you to always have that. And again, you're all also able to manage it directly within our CRM directly within the system that you're already using for driving for dollars or whatever tool that you're using. Um, the last thing I'll point out too, we are really, really hands-on with our enterprise members in terms of our onboarding and training processes, making sure you're leveraging the tools and the ways that you're trying to in your business so that you're being efficient or explaining and teaching and educating on what are the processes that we see routinely create the results that you want and how much effort investment do you need to put into it. And so we're really good and helpful on that component, specifically hands-on with the one-to-one -one account manager on the enterprise side. Gotcha. And, and, and the majority of people are gonna use this, are of course gonna be basic professional, but the, but the nice thing about Deal Machine with all of your, your systems is you can grow, grow, this grows as you grow, right? So you start with the $29 a month, and then when you wanna hire drivers and you've got a team and everything, then you can go up to the enterprise plan. But it's nice that you can start with the basic plan and move up as you go. You don't have to buy the whole thing to begin with, you know? Yep. Whatever marketing medium you wanna focus on. Again, List Engine can help you build bigger, more bulk-oriented lists at scale very, very quickly. Uh, I'll say that your cost per deal, cost per lead, is probably gonna be higher if you're going in a bulk approach like List Engine because you're taking more mass properties. Street engine for, or driving for dollars is going to build, you're gonna be out driving, finding distressed properties where you're probably gonna be able to, you're gonna to have to spend a little more time driving. Your cost per lead is probably gonna be less if you go the driving for, driving for dollars route. Uh, and again, deal machines just set up to allow to support you whatever process you wanna follow most. Because maybe you have the time to go driving or maybe you don't and listing it becomes more valuable then. And so we're just trying to package up deal machine in a way that lets you build your business in a way that, that you're trying to focus on and then help them support you whatever way that looks like. And if I know you guys, this is just going to continue to get better. This as time goes by. It, that's the goal. It, it's uh, take, taking feedback is something I think we do really, really well. Uh, it is very aggressively built into our day-to-day -day improvement as well as our long-term product timeline and product plans that we, that we have as an organization. So, um, definitely think this is the first layer of what we will try to make a very, very valuable long-term uh, and innovative system for you guys to leverage. Great. Well, man, if I, you know, as always, thank you for taking the time to show us this. And, um, you know, we're going to put this video out and hopefully people, you know, hear it and see it and, and uh, give you guys a try and uh, sign up for the for the uh, list engine and, and for 29 bucks a month, you know, give it a whirl. Absolutely. We would love to have you and, and looking forward to seeing the results that you guys can generate off of this. Awesome. All right, man. We'll talk to you soon. Yep.